One of my very favorite instruments to play is the native flute. One thing that I love about these flutes is that they are so easy to play. It doesn't matter if you've never touched an instrument in your entire life. You will be able to learn this very quickly and it is just very effortless and fun to play. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play the native flute and this is for everyone even if you haven't played an instrument before. This one right here is by High Spirits Flutes and I just love their instruments. They're all extremely well made, they're handmade, and there's just a lot of care put into each and every instrument. This is the one that I'm going to demonstrate on for you guys today, but at the end of the video, I'll play through a bunch of the different flutes so that you can hear their different sounds. If you're looking for your own native flute, go to the High Spirits website and use my code GINA for free shipping. I'll link all the flutes that I play for you today in the description below. If you're starting with native flute, I would recommend not to get a bass flute. That is because it's more of a reach for your fingers and it will be more difficult for you to play. So just make sure that in the description it doesn't say bass and you'll be good to go. Another thing that I love about this instrument is you don't need to learn how to read music for it. You don't really even need to know the note names. Well, let's get started. The first thing that I'm gonna teach you is how to produce a sound on the native flute. It is extremely easy. Just blow air through it. <laughs> That's basically it. So you just do this and blow air. And there you go. If you want to be extra fancy, you can tongue the beginning of each note. So all you have to do is go ta. So it will sound like this. And you can hear that it just gives a better start of each note rather than. Now let's talk about how you hold the flute. You put your left hand first. So you put your thumb underneath where there's no holes. Now you take your pointer finger, put it on the first hole. Take your middle finger and put it on the second hole. If you have a five hole flute, just disregard what I'm going to say next. If you have a six hole flute, it will either have a leather band like this or it may not, but it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is put your ring finger over the hole if there is a hole and just keep it there. It always stays there. It always stays down until you get a little bit more advanced, so don't worry about it for now. For your right hand, you're going to put your pointer finger on this hole, middle finger here, and of course your ring finger on the last hole on your instrument. Now you have to cover the holes entirely, otherwise the notes will sound a little funky. All that requires is a little bit of muscle memory, so the more you practice the better, and your fingers will learn where to go very quickly. Okay, I'm now going to play it for you with all the fingers down. Now all you have to do is lift one finger one by one, starting with the bottom. So you have this, lift your right hand ring finger, now your middle finger. Now your entire right hand will go up. Keep your thumb on there though for balance. Now this is the only tricky thing. Just make sure to keep your ring finger down on your left hand and lift your middle finger. Now lift your last finger. Again, keep your thumb here and here for stability. So now I'm gonna go on the way down so that you can see what that is. So it's very easy, like I said, you just lift one finger at a time, put one finger down at a time, and there you have it. Now you'll wanna just play around with that and it's just, like I said, so fun to improvise on and create your own little melody. And here's a close-up of this instrument. That way you can see all the details and how beautiful this madrone wood is. Now I'm going to play a couple of my other flutes by High Spirits so that you can hear how they sound and see close-ups of them. This one is in the key of G, which is a higher flute, so now I'm going to go to a bass so that you can hear what that sounds like. This one is my biggest and lowest High Spirits flute. This is the Condor bass in D, and it's made out of aromatic cedar. Here's a close-up of this flute. It's really beautiful. And this is what it sounds like. The next 
that I'm going to show you is one of my highest flutes from High Spirits, and this is the Kestrel High E in Walnut. As you can see, it has a turquoise inlay, and the woodwork on this one is incredible. I love all my High Spirits flutes, but this one is definitely my favorite. There are a lot of different options on these flutes, different keys, different woods that they're made out of, different inlays. So I would really encourage you to go to the High Spirits Flutes website, look at all that they offer and see what speaks to you. Another great thing about High Spirits is whenever you purchase one of their instruments, it will come with this instructional guide as well as an instructional DVD to teach you everything that you need to know about the native flute. I hope you have a lot of fun learning to play the native flute. If you have any questions about the native flute or how to play it, leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Again, if you're looking to get your own beautiful native flute from High Spirits, make sure to use my code Gina for free shipping. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new videos. I'll see you soon.